Yeah. Randy called me and says, I need some calls that just sound a little bit different, maybe a, maybe two reads in one call to give it a different sounding rasp. So we came up with a cottontail and a jackrabbit that uh, has a little bit more rasp. That's it. Yep, and the high cottontails, pitch. you can hear the second one was a cottontail. That's higher pitched. And, you know, there's two metal reeds in here, so you get the good old metal reed sound. More you cup it, you can really bell her in windy days. And sometimes it just, them coyotes need to be nudged. They hang up and they hang up. And, boy, I mean, this is freeing them up sometimes. And, again, you can use your, remember I did that lady in church? By doing that, you use your diaphragm and you do <laughs> now you can, adding lifelike sounds to right it. and you can blow them softer really almost you shut the hole down in half with your lip kind of to shut it right down so you're just covering part of it yeah and you can get them softer and get a little different sound because boy they're looking for something different especially so later in the season in they calls, experiment with how much of the hole you're covering up and use your hand for back pressure, back accentuating. Yeah. And the old vibrato. And then the, the, the jackrabbit's longer, uh, deeper pitched, and for really like out in west, really roaring on them babies to, to, to reach out there. They got to come to that. Yeah, we never really talked about how long to blow calls, but for, for coyotes, you don't need to sit there and blow, 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 blow. They hear you. And especially if they're a long ways off, because the more you blow, they, in real life, they don't hear a rabbit dying very long, because whatever's got it, I mean, a rabbit's weak, it's not going to last very long. You kind of act like a hawk's got it, and it gets away, and it grabs it. So like 20, 30 seconds the first time, wait a minute or so, then another 15 seconds, you know, and just don't sit there and blow it forever, because the coyotes will hang them up eventually a lot of times, especially later in the year. And again, it doesn't hurt if you're on the little dog blowing a rabbit, nothing come in, go switch to this, switch to the catnip. Try a few, few little different sounds, and boy, sometimes here they come. Change it up, you never know what's going to work. Yep. Now we're going to watch a shotgun hunt with the old dead dog uh, load there in uh, <laughs> 68 yards. 68 yards. Reach out and touch him. Yep. BBs? Uh, this, yeah, heavy shot. Heavy, heavy shot. shot. Yep. And uh, this one here, we called again. We howled, we called and called, nothing. So I went to the, I believe it was the cottontail one, and uh, here comes an old coyote, but he has to lose, uh, lighten his load a little bit right here. You'll see what I mean. Okay. Well, this coyote was coming on the trot. Well, he's feeling a little better now, so he's going to kick it into a higher gear. How many yards? 68. 